It's becoming even more apparent how upset state leaders are over the botched I-STEP testing this year. This year's testing has been a struggle for teachers across the state. Now legislative leaders are calling on McGraw-Hill, the company in charge of the testing, for a committee grilling next month. The first two days of scheduled testing had been delayed because of problems logging onto the system. Then testing was only done at 50% capacity once students could log on before returning to full capacity. Then the system was hit by a denial of service attack, causing a delay on one of the final days of testing. Many officials want a third party to validate this year's test results before accepting the scores. RTV6 reporter Norman Cox says McGraw-Hill may face a gauntlet of questions. CTV McGraw-Hill has already taken plenty of heat over the I-STEP foul-ups, but that may be nothing compared to what it will face next month when it's called in on the carpet by the legislature. Legislative leaders announced today that members of their education commission will meet by no later than mid-June, and they want CTV McGraw-Hill officials there in person to explain why the computer capacity problems that slowed testing occurred, why they were not prepared to deal with them, and what they're doing to prevent this from happening again. We're going to ask the Department of Education uh, to come and explain their thinking on what, uh, how we deal with uh, these tests, um, their outcomes, what they're hearing from their schools. We're going to have superintendents of schools invite them all, whoever wants to come, to testify as well on their experiences and the problems they think have arisen as a result of that. State Superintendent Glenda Ritz's spokesperson, John Barnes, says it's important that the company be questioned as soon as possible after the completion of the testing this month, while the problems are still fresh in the minds of educators and students. It also makes sure that we can hold them accountable and find out why it is that they couldn't provide the services that they were contracted to take care of. This is a legislative hearing, but will the superintendent participate? I think she will participate, uh, and she'll be very vigorous in making sure we understand what went wrong and get it right the next time. Could this committee turn into a lynch mob? Barnes says he doesn't think that will happen, but he says it's important for McGraw-Hill officials to hear firsthand from superintendents about the problems these test follow-ups caused. At the State House, I'm Norman Cox, RTV6. CTB McGraw-Hill officials have not yet responded to requests for comment.